Well, necessary, but uh, boring. Painting some more parts. These are for the drive shaft. The two ends that for the U-joints. I've already painted the drive shaft and primer. And I'm gonna get these parts in, get them hung up, and then in 24 more hours, start putting some top coats on. Hey guys, not too sure if you can see this, but this is my press method for reinstalling the universal joint. Uh, I got it in the one uh, piece right here, and now I'm getting the final section in. Um, so just tightened it up. I put a washer on this side to protect the paint. Already got the clips in here. And uh, I got the other half to go. Okay, so there she is. Universal joint is in. I even managed to get the universal joint grease nipple in so you can keep your U joint lubricated. One more of those jobs done. Drive shaft is back together, it's painted. And I have to say, it looks pretty good. And that's my helper sometimes. Uh, by this point, I'm sure you know that this is the leftover mess you have sometimes when you're working on projects and pulling out different tools and in a zone. So this is what the bench wound up looking like. There's my list. Sorry about the glare. Need to update that. So I think I'll do that now. Let's see if I can't pick up a few things. Bring you back. Well, there you have it. Quick little pickup in the garage. My organized chaos on the bench. And the new updated list. Last one down, CRV diff fluid change. Well, that's what happens when you have a daily driver and they want a lot of money to do that at the dealer. So took that project on for myself. So trying to balance uh, work, life, and uh, taking care of yard work now because we've started cutting the grass. You know, it's a balance that you have to maintain. So get out here when I can. Keep knocking things off the list. That right there is the part that's been killing me lately. So trying to get that seal out and I am not having a good time with it. I feel like I'm creating more issues, kind of. But um, that's why I kind of decided to work on something else. If you got any really good tips on getting these out, drop them in the comments because sure uh, giving me a hard time all right well it's kind of a tight little space but I'm thinking maybe get in there with the Dremel and see if I can't cut a little section out without nicking anything up and folding it in on itself a little bit if I can get it out I can clean the axle tube get most of the grease out and then move to the other side and start the fight all over again. So here's uh, one of the next things I need to work on, uh, which has not been added to the list yet, but I had a frame repair that I did um, here on the front end. That was a little while back, but I still need to plug the end of it uh, right here. And then on the side here, you can see that holds that bumper remount bracket 
and I've got to get another hole through that because it was rotten. And I'll show you. <laughs> that just basically crumbled when I was cleaning up. So I need to get this back in here. This is kind of my solution. If anybody else comes up with a better way for me to do it, please let me know. And then drill a hole to put the rod back through. All right. So if I can start getting this frame back together, I'll have something to mount the body on. While he's currently sitting, has had the, uh, like I said, the seals on the floor is done. There you can see, that's pretty solid. And here's some of the work that was done. So we'll go from there to being able to get the body mounted back on the frame so I can start with some little projects like locking tabs, battery box. Um, that's the goal. One other little area on the frame that I forgot to include is, I don't know if you can see that, this is the bottom side of the bumper on the coil assembly. And if you can see that, there's holes. So have to create that little piece that's probably two inches by two inches with an indention in it, upside down. And let's see if I can't make a couple of those up. Here's the other side. This side's not as bad. Um, there are some spots. Let me see if I can just backplate that and fill it. It still feels pretty solid. 